when I need to uh, be making my wax sand so I thought I would uh, show you how I do it and uh, I use uh, three of these high density polyethylene uh, bins get from tractor supply and I buy my wax by the slab and I take I don't use shredded and I use my uh, necker that's been really cleaned to shave my wax now that's how it works it's pretty darned easy and uh, and if you get a big chunk that don't make any difference at all uh, because if it doesn't melt well then you just recycle it because I go and uh, like that one right there see yeah nothing so because I just recycle any chunks of waxed uh, sand because uh, left on the screen because I run it through the screener see that chunk right there that's not a problem at all no so you're getting the gist of it and it's just a matter of uh, peeling her off and and I use uh, I buy my sand I uh, buy the all-purpose sand from Lowe's and I'll tell you why I do that it's because it's already screened and it's dry I don't have to screw around drying any doggone sand so now here's what it takes here's my scoop right here now I use a 50 pound bag 25 pound and uh, I put in each of these uh, bins and that's how much it takes to uh, wax 25 pounds of sand so let's go over here and uh, we'll take a look at what I got going <coughs> Now this is a little after 11 today. I just got this set out. And as you can see, there's these are the lights out of a storm door I saw along the road. And this up here is some pla uh, plexiglass to help with it. But uh, so I just let her set and uh, cook in the sun. A uh, day like today that's going to get uh, 80, 81. This will all be melded and uh, everything by about 1.30 or so. And uh, then you have to start raking it to uh, keep it from, from uh, getting hard and lumpy. So I just kind of converted uh, my beaver table into uh, a, <laughs> a cart with a couple of wheels I found along the street too welded on so anyway we'll come back and uh, later when I start uh, when this starts to been about an hour and a half so let's uh let's do uh the first stir you can see how much is melted Get it all mixed up. See it changing color. That's what you want to see. So everything comes in contact with the, with the wax. And your, you know, any of the larger chunks of uh, wax, you're just kind of rubbing, rubbing the sand against it. So, okay, so there you are. There's one. Now we'll do the other. amount of mixing only has to do with uh, the color change 
See how nice and wet that looks over there? Those pieces, they're, they're getting melted all down. Not a problem. This is just about done. Yep. We don't need any more wax. And this is, you can tell by the feel. See all that packs right there? I'll probably give it about a half hour and uh, more and then that'll be it. She's cooking great. So about a half hour I'll, I'll come out and uh, give it another stir and uh, that'll be the last last mixing. Then we'll go on to cooling. About a half Wait. hour and uh, you, of course you can see you know where the chunks are melded and uh look at that nice you know <laughs> dissolved but uh this is the final mix i can tell by the color of this sand that this is the final mixing of the melded wax and sand the color is right once we get a consistent color throughout it's ready and, and that's all this is right now oh yeah yep that's nice good stuff so that one's done give this a mix see how the color see that light color sand It'll all get wet yep you're looking for uniformity of color. See that light spot right there? No problem. <coughs> so if you remember what this sand looked like dry, the color, that just showed you some. is done that's it now she's going to go in to cool and i'll start right